host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so like I said in the last episode, I'm going to extend the whole Lavender Town stay just a little bit by battling everybody right here in, well, let me see, what route? Rock Tunnel route. Yeah, whatever route we're in right now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I should know my routes a little bit better, but whatever. I don't care. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it up and go with Hydra. Because Hydra's awesome, and uh, I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. You should. You should be feeling faint. Well, your Pokemon are about to faint, so here we go. Another battle against another junior trainer female, and she's like, oh, here we go. Pidgey. Hydra. Hail Hydra. Alrighty, Thunderbolt. That, that, that usually rolls off the tongue. Thunderbolt. Not really rolls off the tongue, but you guys know what I mean. Look at that. Easy victory. And, uh, yes, gross to level 24. I'm going to go with Pikachu right here, or Sparky, because, shoot, need more experience points for Sparky. Go with Thunderbolt. We both have the same move. I really just didn't care, you know? Just finish these guys off easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> easy victory. Easy, easy money right there. Okay, so, Pikachu, do you like me? Oh, he sounds like he loves me. Look at that. He wants to give me a hug. Good for you. Okay, so here's one of the biggest things that Indian people are getting right now, and that's like a preview into the future. The Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be a, po a pink one with flor a floral pattern. Of course, we already know, know that Pokemon uh, to be Muna from uh, Unova. Which begs the question, did they already have that? Or was that Pokemon, was, like, was Muna supposed to be in Kanto? I don't know, you guys decide. I'm pretty sure somebody down there is gonna tell me about it. Oh, 50 pages of it. So, switching it up with my Dubasaur, going up against this hiker, he's like, ha ha ha. Ha. Oh, he wants to laugh, okay. Let's do this. Hiker wants to fight. Hiker sends a Geodude. Geodude about to get Dubasaur. Because Dubasaur has, look at that, Mind Whip. Oh, yeah, come on. Say goodbye. How does it feel to fail? Not so good, and he's coming out with an Onyx, so... More experience points for Dubasaur, because... Why not? Why freaking not? Look at that. Oh, yes. I'm loving that. Vine Whip for another victory right there. And... Oh, yes. Hiker's been defeated. He's like, not laughing. Fever! Achoo! Okay, so it must be six. I better stay away from this guy. And we got one more hiker right here. He's like, ah, the mountain air is delicious. Now, I kind of feel like we're not in the mountains. Like, everything's flat right here. That's what you get for, like, 2D or... I don't know. I don't even know what you guys like to call it. I'm not that big of a uh, Nintendo person. That is a lie. I am a Nintendo person. Uh, something gig or... I don't know. You guys tell me. Shoot. There he is. Bomb whip. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And it's coming out with the Graveler. Okay, this this time, Dubasaur is going to level 24 right here with his final Violet. Oh, yeah. I can smell it now. It smells so good. That's right. Level 24, Dubasaur. And I defeated this Hiker right here. He's like, that's my, that cleared my head. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. All right. So, let's switch it. Let's go with Thrasher. Let's finish this all off with a little bit of Thrasher because Thrasher is awesome. He's great. And we got one more trainer here. And this guy's like, hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? I think so. I think so. Uh, let, 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 let's see what we got. Let's see. So he's coming out with a Cubone. Hmm. I'm coming out with my Thrasher because it knows this move. Right here, water's good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and that Bone Club is super effective because why not? It's a ground type move, and we're, we're still a poison type Pokemon, so we gotta be careful for that one right there. And as you can see, Thrasher grows another level. It's pretty awesome. So good. Now he's coming out with a Slowpoke. So huh, okay, Sparky, let's do this. Do it for America or Kanto. I wonder if it's a country, if Kanto's a country or if not a region. If like, if Kanto, now you guys know what I'm talking about, but if like, 
if if Kanto is a region, then what is the name of the country of the whole entire thing? Is there even such thing as a country out there in the Pokemon world? That is the biggest question. So we defeated everybody right here, and uh, would you look at that? New self scope. Make the invisible plain to see. Silco. The eerie noise, the eerie songs right here. Here we are in Lavender Town, basically the Pokemon graveyard. And this guy is saying ghosts have appeared in the Pokemon Tower. I think they're uh, the spirits of the Pokemon that the Rockets killed. Hmm. I did not know that Team Rocket killed Pokemon. And this is the volunteer house right here. So let's go ahead and get inside and see what, we, what it's all about right here. So as you can see, we got two Pokemon right here, Pokemon right there. I did not mean to get out right there. And uh, let's talk to this gentleman. He's like, that's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't in here. Where'd he go? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's a Nidorino. Pokemon monthly grand prize drawing. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. Okay. Wonder if that has something to do with it. And this little person right here says, This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after the abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Like a Pokemon daycare or something. Or a Pokemon orphanage. And uh, let's see, what else? Go into this house. And this lady will tell you, I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. He was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. And this is Cubo. Now, if you get, have you guys ever watched Pokemon? Uh, what was that Pokemon cartoon that shows off red and all that stuff? I need to remember. Oh, and by the way, here is the Name Raider's house. It's like, hello, hello. I am the official Name Raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of a Pokemon? Yes. Which Pokemon should I look at? Um. Shoot. Let's go ahead and try a Dubasaur. This guy's like Dubasaur. Is it? That is a decent nickname. But would you like uh, me to give it a nicer name? How about it? No. You're not really a uh, name raider. You're just a Pokemon name changer or something like that. I'm not changing my Pokemon name for anything. I mean, I could change their names back to their birth names like Neo King, Pikachu, all that stuff. But I decided to change it up just a little bit right here. This town is known as the grave, the grave site of Pokemon. Memorial services held in the Pokemon Tower. Huh. What does it say? Lavender Town, the normal purple town. And if you talk to this person, he's like, Do you believe in ghosts? Obviously, let's just put yes. Really? So there are believers. Now, if you say no, this kid is just going to try and spook you right here. Let's see, do you believe in ghosts? Um, I didn't mean to do that. Do you believe in ghosts? No. <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder, it's not real. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? And right here, he's like, May the souls of Pokemon rest easy, Pokemon Tower. We're gonna go in there. And you know what? Let's just... Let, 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 let's do this. Let's go in there and surprise the heck out of somebody. So as you can see, this is the Pokemon Tower, known as the Pokemon Graveyard. I came to, put, to pray for my Clefairy. Sniff, I can't stop crying. Talk to this person. Did you come pay the respects? Bless ya. I did not sneeze. And uh, this person right here is like, my Growlithe, why did you die? And this person's like, I am a Chalner. There are spirits up in the mischief. Up to mischief or something. Okay, whatever. And as you can see, our good old buddy Gary is still waiting for us. Snugly waiting for us right there. So I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon. I might as well use some of those super potions that I never really got to use. And, uh, you know... We're still on a revenge tour right here. We lost in the very first episode to this asshole. Time to beat him again. So here he is. Hey, Draven. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't see, don't look dead. I can at least make him faint. <laughs> Let's go, pal. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. It's your funeral. It is your funeral, Gary. So here he comes out with his Fero. Looking pretty majestic right there, but here's Sparky with the Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. Didn't expect that, huh? Oh, come on. You shouldn't have survived. You shouldn't have. Oh, God. Okay, two times. Uh, let's go again with the Thunderbolt. Just to, just to, you know, leave a message. Or just to send a message to Gary. Don't F with me. And he's coming out with the Vulpix. So, Hail Hydra. Yeah. 
you will always have that first battle, but every single other battle, I'm gonna beat you. When you think, when you think you're gonna be the champion, I'm gonna beat you. When you think you collected all your Pokemon, best believe, I'm gonna beat you. That's right, it's a promise. And here he's coming out with those Magnemites, so let's go with Thrasher right here. Of course, there, there's no such thing as Steel-type steel Pokemon in this generation, so beating Magnemite would probably take, I don't know, Rock-type Pokemon, Ground-type Pokemon. Of course, there are no effects here in Generation 1, so you don't have to worry about the levitation uh, effect that most of these Pokemon have. And, uh, well, Double Kick is doing its work right here. Finish him off! Come on! There we go. I won. And coming out with the Sand True. Okay, let's go. Sand True against my Dubasaur. The Dubasaur is awesome. Really, it's a 5-on-5 five -five battle. Like, you know, Ultra Psycho would have... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so... Oh, I got an Ether here. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Thought I was gonna lose a turn there, but there it is. PP restored, and we're gonna have to take a slash attack right here. Critical hit, but look at that. Vine Whip. It hits harder because you're you're weak against our grass types, and uh, that sand attack might. Okay, does not mess me up right here. Oh yeah, love victory. Oh yeah, and he's coming out with his Eevee. <sighs> okay. Godzilla, Godzilla, to win this all. Let's just finish this guy right now. Seismic Toss, after getting hit with a quick attack. So there we go, Seismic Toss. And that does not do much, but, or it takes a lot, but not as much as what I thought it would be. This guy's using his patented tail with it. Pretty much beat me in the first episode. God, that sand attack is going to be the death of me right here. So let's go. R Ember attack. Come on, just faint, you a-hole. Uh, really, Eevee? Really? You have to be like that, huh? There we go. Godzilla, level 25. And look at that. <laughs> what? You stinker. I took it easy on you two. Yeah, say whatever you want to say. How's your Pokédex coming, pal? I just got a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Bye. Flipping you off. I'm flipping you off. So is Pikachu. So, Pikachu, you still love me? Ooh. Ooh, you, he, he's scared. He is scared. There's a good reason why this Pokemon is scared. So talk to this person right here. He's like, even even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A self scope might be able to unmask them. Unfortunately, we don't have a self scope, and if we walk around here, I'm just gonna walk around here like, well, yeah, I'm gonna keep Sparky up there. I'm gonna walk around like if it was nothing. Now, if you do challenge these challenges right here, you will be able to see their Pokemon. But right here. Look at that, scary ass ghost. Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd. Level 21 ghost. And if you try to attack it, look at that, Sparky, too scared to move. Get out, get out. Now, if you try to capture this guy, nope. It's dodge, you cannot capture this Pokemon. And this book, or this, this supposed person is just saying, get out, get out. So, we're gonna get the heck out of here because that scared the crap out of me, so. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I'm going to be back. I will be back for this one. This one was scary. Even I'm scared. It's like chilly. It's chilly. Okay. Alrighty. Whew. Okay. Pikachu, are you okay? Oh, okay. You're okay. You're okay. He loved me. He's like, okay, I'm out of that place. We don't ever have to go back in there. I, I can leave. I can survive. You know, that kind of stuff. Anyhow. In the next episode, we will be going through the, uh, you know, the east route right here. I think it was Route 25 or something. Excuse me if I'm wrong. But yes, hopefully we'll be 
we'll be able to get out of that area in record time because Ultra Cycle will be with us in the next episode. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walker. See you guys.